Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey's Crafts, and uh, today um, I'm going to make an announcement that uh, that I have that I think you guys will find interesting. I finally convinced my dad to have some interview and to to do a few YouTube videos with me, um, and I hope he doesn't back out because I know he watches these videos. So this this announcement is is directed at you, Dad, as well. I'm calling you out. You know, you've been called out by your your son to keep your word now that you have to 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 do this interview with me. Uh, so he said he would now, so now I just have to keep chasing him up and stuff like that because, um, you know, it's good for you guys to know, like, my family history of where I came from, how I got involved in Blackthorn, how my dad was a carpenter and how my dad was doing sticks and my granddad was as well. And, uh, you know, I think it's good to kind of document that. Like, my dad would be in his 70s, like I'm in my 40s, um, so, you know, it's, it's just two generations there of shillelagh makers who have been doing this for, for, for quite some time. And uh, it'd be interesting to hear about his youth because my dad was born in the 1940s and he would remember his grandfather as well. So you'd be getting firsthand information on the 1800s, the late 1800s, because my father would have heard all the stories um, you know, would have talked a lot to, to the grandfather. Like, there was no internet or, or stuff back days. People would talk. Wow. People would sit around in the evenings. They'd drink their tea. They'd tell stories. They'd talk Republican things. Um, they'd listen to the radio and have some music on and things like that. So I think a, a, a good series of videos with my dad where I ask him about growing up as, uh, you know, and, and again, I'll make it more in line with the uh the, the black torn things as well you know about any stories that that he has and just generally again to give a bit of background about how my journey started because i wouldn't be making black torn if it wasn't for my dad um you know i've seen how hard my dad worked over the years as as a carpenter you know throughout the you know the 80s it wasn't the, the best time in ireland as well and that's that's predominantly when i grew up as 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 a kid like I was born in the late 70s and uh, you know, it's it's uh, I'd seen him, you know, work in a full time job, then trying to do side things, then trying to, you know, he was he was always trying and motivating, you know, to to for me anyway. Even though I didn't say it, because he would just go out and he'd be working and he'd come back late and he'd be aches and pains, his hands would be sore. Um, you know, it's quite quite a physical full job. And at the time, you don't really understand it as as a kid, but when you get older. And you think about it, you know, it does hit home. And then you kind of think, right, you know, this is what someone does when they need to survive. And I think you need this mentality even in a pandemic. And that's kind of another thing that, that I'm kind of trying to, to, to say. It's like, you know, no matter what happens, you don't give up. Like, you know, how matter, uh, how tough something give, gives like you know you just keep going and keep trying to bull through and dozing through it you lose your job you try to make something if it fails you keep going if you you know spent five hours doing something it doesn't work out you just keep going and keep going and you keep kind of hustling and trying to to you know get things going and i think like if you can kind of get this mentality it helps you a bit bit in life that you know you just have to kind of keep going rather like sometimes it's good to reflect and things but for other things like in business you just have to keep going especially when you're trying to find your way in a marketplace or finding a new business and things as well and you do things in in steps like you don't overcommit. like you know i don't mind committing a lot of time to something but not a lot of money to something you know so if you you're going into some venture that takes a lot of time to set up at least you know if things go astray you're just losing your time so in this video i just thought do that announcement about uh my dad, uh, old timey uh, shillelagh maker uh, series that uh, hopefully now I can coax him into and he doesn't like, you know, back out of it or come up with some excuse or something like that. And we'll just do it like a conversation where we'll just like we normally like basically I call up to my dad. We have a cup of tea. We shoot the breeze. You know, we chat about stuff. We might have some silly argument over something that's not even important. And, you know, we talk about various topics as well. And, you know, of course, his sticks are better than mine type of thing. <laughs> you know, he's a better finish and he puts this and that. So it'd be interesting for you, I think, as viewers to kind of see two generations of shillelagh makers and uh, yeah, I, I just thought it would make for an interesting announcement anyway. All right, I'm waffling again. Thanks for watching.